It's week 99 of Zerus, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 99 of Zer. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and actually let me know this time in the comments if Zer actually brought you something that you actually wanted. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, Zer is located at the Traveler, aka the Tower, in this little area right over here in the hangar. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're just off the left hand side. We have the Huckleberry, which is an exotic submachine gun. Then we have the Stompies, which is for the Hunter. The Winner's Guile for the Warlock, as well as the One-Eyed Mask for the Titan. Let's go ahead and start with the Huckleberry. Turn the perk on this is Ride the Bull, which gives you increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger. Kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine. Then we have Fluted Barrel, Ricochet Rounds, Rampage, as well as Short Action Stop. And I actually have a ornament for it. It's called the Devil's Work. Now, ornaments aren't uh, actually come with these when you buy them from Zer. However, this is an okay exotic in uh, PvE and PvP. Definitely not top tier because there are better uh, submachine guns out there to use. But that doesn't mean it's not good. So, with that said, I'm probably going to give it a tier 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. If you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. Next is the Stompies for the Hunter. Turn the perk on this is Hydraulic Boosters, which buffs Sprint, Slide, and Jumping. Then we have Fusion Rival Dexterity, Machine Gun Dexterity, Traction, ooh, my favorite perk on uh, Exotics, or actually any type of uh, leg armor for our Hunters. Then we have Arrow Scavenger, as well as Scout Rifle Scavenger. And Turbo Kickers, is the ornament for this so it makes it pretty much makes it look like you have uh, robot legs real quick if you guys don't have this go ahead and buy it it is definitely a tier top tier um exotic uh definitely pvp pve as well go ahead grab it it is probably going to be a tier 1.5 in pve and then a tier one in pvp this is probably the most used exotic in PvP for 100 used, regardless what subclass you're on. So definitely go ahead and buy this. Next, we have the Winner's Guile. Turn to perk on this is Warlord Sigil, which melee kills increased melee damage. Then we have Rocket Launcher Loader, Momentum Transfer, Enhanced Impact Induction, Scout, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Shotgun Scavenger, as well as uh, Sniper Rifle Scavenger. And this actually has an ornament called Dead of Winter. And it really doesn't look that much different. At all. <laughs> That's kind of weird. But yeah. So this is an okay exotic to use in PvE and PvP. Not really top tier. But if you're going for like a shotgun melee type build type thing. Um, then I guess for the Warlock. But other than that. It's really decent not really like i said not that good not that bad so i'm gonna give it a tier three in pve as well as pvp and last but not least we have the one-eyed mask for the titan and he tried to perk on this is vengeance which mark and defeat those that harm you to improve damage then we have pulse rifle targeting pump action as well as enhanced hand cannon targeting oh my god then we have Linear Fusion Rifle Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And it has an ornament. I actually don't have it. It's pretty interesting. So, if you guys do not have this, go ahead and buy it 100%. It is probably, well not even probably, it is top tier in PvP, probably tier 1. Uh, if not, a 1.5, but definitely top tier for uh, Titans now. Um, but it's kind of weird, because Zer actually sold this, like, several weeks in a row 
Uh, maybe it skipped even a week or two. But he sold... I think this is like the third time he sold this. But, uh... I guess you can hope that Bungie may be nerfing this sometime soon. Especially since they're giving it to us a lot. That's just word of mouth. I'm not saying it actually is going to happen, though. Anyways. Uh, PvE, not so good. Because you really don't really need your radar for PvE. But... Uh, it does help a little bit, I guess. So, in PvP, it's definitely going to get a Tier 1 to 1.5. In PvE, it is going to get a probably Tier 2 to 2.5. Next, we have your consumables, Five of Swords. This gives you your Nightfall Challenge card. And then, last but not least, we have your Invitations, which I still have not done. Then, coming up here, we have your Faded Engram, which uh, is 97 Legendary Shards. Go ahead and buy one of these... If you do not have it already before you buy this, because there is a chance that you will get one of these inside the Faded Engram. And yes, it does give Forsaken Exotic, so go ahead and buy this. I actually have all the uh, Forsaken Exotic except for that goddamn Blasted Yoten. And it's kind of frustrating. So, I cannot get that from Faded Engram. But it's okay. The hunt is still continuing. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon. And I will see you guys in the next video.